What's up, guys? I changed my name again. Uh, this time to my actual real name. So, um, and that's mostly for film purposes. So, like, I'm a filmmaker, and I want people to know that this is my channel. Therefore, I put my name, my real name. I didn't change it for any reasons. Like, I didn't change it because of me changing my beliefs in God or anything like that. No, I, I am still a child of God and I still believe in Jesus and follow him. I, I changed it only for that. But besides me changing my name, let's talk about getting 14,000 subscribers. 14,000 subscribers, that's insane. I'm so thankful. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching the videos and uh, staying tuned and waiting patiently for this video. Finally, creating a part two. It's been years. You're welcome, guys. Enjoy the vid. Like a Ninjago, what if? Part two, episode one. What if Moro chose to be saved? So, if you guys remember back in season five, Moro chose to not be saved. He told Sensei Wu that you can only save those who want to be saved and gave the realm crystal to Sensei Wu. But in this universe, it's different. He chooses to be saved and realizes that his quest for the realm crystal caused too much destruction. He decides to turn away from his revenge and seeks forgiveness from Sensei Wu and the ninjas. This choice creates tension in the ninja team as some are willing to forgive him while others are just struggling to trust him. As Moro tries to earn the ninja's trust, a new powerful threat emerges, not a con. Moro's knowledge of the cursed realm and his ghostly abilities become valuable, but despite facing guilt and temptation, Moro remains dedicated to his new path, but he gets captured, and Nauticon seems like he's going to win until Jay makes a wish that resets everything. During the events of Dark Island, Sensei Wu sees potential in Moro and takes him under his wing again, rebuilding their mentor-student relationship. Moro works hard to assist the ninja in several missions, proving his dedication after their victory against Klaus the day of the departed approaches, and Moro feels a mix of guilt and gratitude. He joins the ninja at the Ninjaga Museum of History to honor lost loved ones, but he never had anyone who loved him, at least no one before Wu. When villains from the past are resurrected by Yang, Moro follows Cole. When Moro sees Cole struggling internally, he encourages him to confront Yang with a desire for understanding rather than vengeance. Cole expresses his pain and frustration to Jang, seeking answers, but Yang only wants to become a human again. He wants to live forever, so they fight. After some fighting and some words from Cole and Moro, Yang begins to reflect on his own choices. Yang decides to make amends and restores Cole to his human form. Moro, however, finds peace as a ghost and continues to be a vital member of the ninja team and he forms strong bonds with the ninjas adding depth and complexity to the team's dynamic until the first ninja master arrives and tells him to join the team but what team <laughs> 